we have to see what part of the year we are in and most athletes including myself we we train every day but the intensity is programmed around when the race is and in general if you're going to the dakar now the dakar happens in january yeah. so we have a good lead up and eight to nine months before we start ramping the the training um, typically it's a mix of what you train on the motorcycle what you train off the motorcycle off the motorcycle there's a lot of zone 2 work to build endurance and then there's high intensity stuff to to be able to take a very higher heart rate you know for a, a sustained period of time just to give you an insight if you look at uh, a, a rally stage let's say you are the last rally abu dhabi desert challenge 300 km stage roughly 4 hours of of just dunes riding dunes yes um i track my heart rate and the heart rate ranges between 150 to 160 uh, very rarely falling below 140 wow. so to be able to sustain that for 4 hours you need to train but that's not high intensity training you need yes. to train that's just zone 2 but you need to do volume okay. so sometimes i cycle at that heart rate for 3 hours oh. you know it's just sustained pace you cycle and to sand so a lot of core and lower body strength required and we do a lot of conditioning as well where we we want to be we want to be strong but you also want to be flexible to reduce yeah. injuries i see so when you crash if you are really stiff and you don't have movement in your body you are going to tear muscles more easily yes right so it's different aspects it's a very intricate process in a way uh, but that comes to you know being really training as an athlete true for for a for a regular weekend guy riding off road and you know enjoying his motorcycle like i said earlier uh, zone 2 sustained consistent program works better let's break it down into two parts um, what are we afraid of are we just afraid of generically standing and riding and if that's the scenario that you're new to off roading and you just want to understand or get over the fear of standing and riding a of course the setup like we discussed yes. which is so important because when you stand you need to be able to shift and brake true right and that is so important but if you still feel that you're not ready to be standing and riding when you're off road and if you already know how to ride on tarmac maybe start on the tarmac you know that that way you take away one element um if it comes down to talking about just that you're afraid of standing and riding when the terrain is very difficult um that really has to be where you have to focus and it's it's mind over matter you know you 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 kind of have to get over that fear and attempt it because you will find that actually when you are in difficult terrain yes standing is the easier way true because the bike stays more stable you are not compressing your rear suspension by sitting on it there's more travel there and if you hit something unexpected that bike is going to actually um, behave better rather than when you were sitting also generally when we are sitting like there are very core fears we have as humans true and one of the fear is the fear of falling yes not just of a motorcycle but it's a core human fear to be you know falling or be off balance yes right so if you sit the instinct is always going to be to put your foot down and when you try to to take worst case scenario both your feet off the foot peg the bike is going to get upset even more so standing actually is the easier way true so if you have a fear of doing that then yeah you need to work towards overcoming that fear or sign up for some courses get some coaches that can help you with it sure thank you thank you for the answer